is it going guys drew peacock here back with another video and today we have a really fun night ahead of us we're actually going down to mexico we're going to a race meet and we're not taking the supra sadly i know a lot of you guys probably want to see it but i just got it back and i just slapped on some new meat and if you guys follow me on instagram you know that i had some pretty bad fitment issues when i first got them it was hella tucked i'll send a or i'll put a photo in right here now it's sitting maybe a little too tall for my taste, it doesn't look bad from the side. Like it look kind of, it kind of looks like a drag stance. But the issue is when you look at it from the rear, it kind of looks like a monster truck. Actually, it, it doesn't look half bad. I don't know. I'm still debating on lowering it a little bit. But we got some new meat. The R Triple Eights are gone. We got some Mickey Thompson ET Street SSs. And if you look really close. Uh, I was rubbing really bad on the way home. Like, <laughs> it was embarrassing. Every little, just like, uh, if there's a pubic hair in the road, I would rub. It was bad. I would just, one tire would just, uh, it was so bad. Anyways, we're not taking this tonight. I just don't think it's ready. I haven't had it back long enough. Haven't changed any of the fluids. Don't think it's ready. We will be taking the McLaren MP412C. I haven't gone to like a public race meet in this car i've raced my buddies and stuff like that in little cars here and there but i haven't gone to a public race meet so cars that i don't know what they have done to them cars that i don't know the owner i haven't raced anyone like that really just uh random people that i've seen on the freeway and that's it so we will be taking the voodoo autosport tuned 2012 mp412 c if you guys are new to my channel it is full bolts on e85 putting down anywhere between 650 and 700 wheel uh, it's never been on a dyno still stock turbos but a really fun car it doesn't weigh too much obviously very aerodynamic very fun cars to drive i would take the mustang as well but i really just want to see if this thing can hold its own down in mexico against some random cars and if it's getting smoked left and right then we'll go ahead and we'll do the upgraded turbos sooner than later the mustang literally has been sitting under the car cover since i got the car cover i want to see how dirty it is actually let's check the front end really quick so this isn't staged it could be really fucking dirty it's rained so i'm honestly curious how good this car cover is at keeping out all of the dirt and debris Ugh. Moment of truth. And it looks really clean underneath. Wow. A lot of people were like, oh, well, lift it up and see if there's water spots and shit. I see a little bit of my leftover ceramic that wasn't taken off very evenly. But I don't see much. I see a little bit of water drips, droplets right here. But definitely a hell of a lot cleaner than if it was just exposed to the elements. So I got to say thumbs up on the car cover if you guys are looking for one go to california car cover i'll link it down below but honestly couldn't be happier but yeah this car is also in need of an oil change um, i think it could go and hold its own out there but i really just want to see with the mclaren how it's going to do so we'll be taking that let's go ahead and wait for it to get dark and then we'll head out so we're at the meet and it's dark as shit so you guys can't see anything but there's hellcats gt 500s mustangs Alex's SC Mark III Supers on slicks. There's, there's everything. So um, I guess we'll just have to go ahead and wait until the runs are in because there's no point walking around. It is literally pitch black in here. So I guess I'll see you guys on the road. we're doing there's a lot of just like random ass cars that aren't like running it that evo seems pretty quick we got a sort of half good run with them sorry you guys can't see me that evo seems pretty quick um but everything else so far hasn't seemed quick at all so we'll just keep trying but that q50 right there that just looked like a stock ass car so there's this camera right here that seems pretty quick let's see
Yeah, that Evo's quick. That's a quick Evo. I haven't ever ran an Evo that fast. That's really impressive. Uh, him and I are like neck and neck, but it's the shifts. Whenever he shifts, he just falls back a little bit and then he starts to climb. So, built motor, obviously, um, but he, he's coming up pretty quick. Okay, let me make sure I get the right exit. We, we got the right exit. Quick Evo. I think if he had better gearing, I think he'd beat this car. So I think if he had more runway. Yeah, or that. I think I think it would be a lot better too, because he needs to go into a taller gear to where it, like you know his top end just helps somewhat. But yeah, it just seems like he just doesn't have the top end. But that's a fast Evo. If you're watching this video, that's a fast Evo. We weren't even in the race. We just heard them go, so we win. And we won! <laughs> okay, well that answered that question. I wanted to race them, but we gave them a two-car head start and we still won, so maybe we gotta go find that Evo again. Vets are quick. Vets are one of my favorite. Like, if you're going to build a roll racing car or even a drag racing car, I don't think there's a better platform than a vet. Like, they just seem gnarly at all fucking speeds. Uh, that, I don't know if it was a Z06. I guess we'll check at the second location. But fast vet, I didn't see the one on my left too often. I guess I'll look at the 360 cam. But um, fast vet, so far, there's a pretty quick shit at this meet. going and I was kind of already going so we didn't really start at the same time but I mean I think we still would have won so uh, does this guy want to play around? Any of these guys want to play around? <laughs> Rocket mode! Woo! This car's too quick like I it's not the fastest like there's some other really fast cars here and i guarantee there's a few of them that would actually beat it but i'm having a lot of fun with this car we we almost got into a wreck earlier because some dipshit cut my ass off but luckily we took this car if we took anything else we would have rear-ended him 100 percent but this car saved my life so i know a lot of you guys are like jerry you should have took the zuba you just got back to zuba we would have been dead d-e-d -E -D. so Let's find some more folks. All right, we made it to the second location. There's way better lighting, so we'll actually do a lap and see. We ran it with this vet. This vet was moving pretty good. The N54 right next to it is moving pretty good. Single turbo on that one, full E. Um, is it a Z06? Yeah, it's a Z06. This thing moves really fucking good. Like, these two cars were some of the fastest. Wherever that Evo's at, that Evo was gnarly. I gotta find him and see what he's got done to his shit because that Evo was flying. I feel like, like I said, if it was re-geared or something, I don't know all-wheel drive systems, but if it was re-geared, that thing would fly. Here we go, Alex pulled up. We gotta see what he did. I didn't see him out there once, but I mean, we've raced a thousand times. I just wanna hear his after action report and see if he put some gaps on boots. Gotta get the uh, the press conference. Alex, 
How many people did you smoke? Uh, I actually lost one or two. You lost one or two, but how many did you win? Like four. We don't talk about the L's. All right, when you park, we gotta talk. All right, Alex, what'd you take? Uh, stock Mustang, uh, mostly stock cars. Other than the blue, there was a blue carbon one with oh. radials on it. Yeah, oh, the blue carbon one that just rolled by? I think I saw that it. one. The Mustang? Yeah, he got me good. Oh, uh, yeah? Like, really good? Like, hey, no, like, like, where you at, Brian? Really good, but it was good. I didn't get that many runs in. What? Park right there. Oh, yeah. All right, what were you saying? Yeah, so <laughs> as I was racing too. He what fucking the? was racing and what all is of that? a sudden his sneaker, my sneaker covered. Your fucking came flew up off the car. <laughs> I was like, the car's what falling the? apart I was as like, you're why driving. are you hitting me right now? Sneaker <laughs> cover that just came up and How bad did that Mustang get you? Like my Mustang bag or worse? Um. It was from the second, so oh, yeah, you know, so that's a fair one. Yeah. So like, I just spun right away, and he just pulled so away. I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. okay. Well, oh. We tried it from third, but it was like it was better, but it wasn't like the best. So did you have fun? Yeah, it was, was it worth it? Yeah. And there's still more to come. So yeah, no. we'll talk to Brian right now too. We got to go get Brian's after action report. We got to see what he did in the full bolt on E85 Mustang. Let's take a look. All right, Brian, how'd it go, dude? There's so many Mustangs, I raced the same guy twice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you win? No, it was a 10 speed, but he only beat me by like a car. That's not surprised. bad. I mean, 10 I speed versus manual, and he only beat you by a car? That's honestly not surprised. bad. I'm pretty proud of um, old reliable here. Old reliable, and once we put on the whipple, she's gonna be old unreliable after that. <laughs> So um, what else did you race? Don't say that. Just Mustangs. Oh really? Dude, I raced. I got stuck by nothing but Mustangs. So I raced that Beamer over there. He's quick. I raced the vet. He's quick. I mean, I beat them both, but they're quick. One of the Evo tens, dude. Gnarly quick. I still beat him, but like he was like at my door. I raced uh, like a what is it? A three thirty five or four thirty five? Yeah. Whatever it is. Something some newer one. Yeah. I thought it was did like a him? charger. Nah, hell no. Uh, I took him on the on the takeoff, but uh, he the really line. Back in, yeah. yeah, he's got the top end. Well, yeah. all right, let's go uh, converse and we'll walk around since there's better lighting and we'll see what they got here. And there was a door. So I think this is the Evo. I think it is. I think this is the Evo that was giving me a hard time and that shit is quick. It is deceivingly quick. Like you look at it, it looks like it's on stock wheels still. Archer blades all the way around and it fucking dances like a senorita right here. Oh, this thing is quick. Quick. I want to find the owner and talk to him because that thing is gnarly. So I tried to run him. I think he got on it and maybe didn't hook and then let off. That's what it sounds like because the ZL1 was next to us too and he said the same thing. So I don't call it a clean race, but we've raced GT500s in the past and won. So I'm assuming it would have been like that, but who knows. What do you think, Mammy? You were there. She's unsure. <laughs> she doesn't like being put on blast. <laughs> I think we raced this one at the same time as the other Corvette, and I think we got him. I have to check the 360 cam. I was only focusing on going straight, and I didn't see him, so I think we got him, but another quick Corvette as well. The tail lights are actually really sick as well, but um, dude, a lot of fast cars today. I was not expecting this much heat to come out. Like, I was expecting... 300 400 500 wheel horsepower max but there's some like 700 800 horsepower cars and i'm sure there's some that are a thousand that i just haven't found yet but there's some crazy cars out here tonight <laughs> shifts but it was neck and neck till about i'm not even gonna say it but way up there way up there was neck and neck but he makes way more power that thing is fucking quick you ready one two three come on mclaren stay ahead god no monica <laughs> dude that mark three is quick he has issues off the line. I have a feeling it's because he has a giant turbo, but I just see him in my rear view mirror and his thing looks like he's doing a fucking wheelie just catching up to me. That thing is fucking gnarly. Holy crap, that thing is sick. Oh my God. All right, I want to race the Nardo one.
sick. Oh my god. fucking caught air so <laughs> that was a, a good one that bmw though got smoked but that was a a good one we just almost went fucking flying uh, twice. twice yeah i was like my car could do it i don't know if that car could get air but i think this car would be fine it's a rally car <laughs> All right, that thing was quick. The first time I was like, damn, that, that wasn't hard. That time, that was quick. That was quick. That one got me. I'll give him props on that one. That was quick. <laughs> I don't know, I think he was just fucking around, but whatever. 